So welcome back, Drifters. So let me first address the obvious elephant in the room, and that is, I'm wearing contacts. I actually just recently got them because, well, I haven't been able to wear them for years, and I'm doing an experiment now. I was actually able to put them in, and I can actually see, kind of. So luckily now I don't have to worry about my glasses falling off every time I go to bend over and look into the car, and it's just, it's, it's not cool, it's not fun. And plus, I, I, hey Louie, what you doing over there? Louie's making a lot of noise. So at least now I don't have to worry about my glasses problem. The only thing is now I think I need sunglasses because damn, it is bright out. But that's okay because the first thing we're gonna do today is we're working on the Silverado. My daily's been giving me some trouble, so I need to fix it. And that's what we're gonna do. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already got the wheel off and there's quite a mess. You can look down here and see that, uh, yeah, something sprung a big old leak and I discovered from a long time ago, I also discovered that my ball joints are shot. So we're gonna be replacing those. This is not a fun process. So I'm gonna have to remove a lot of this crap and if you've ever worked on a heavy duty truck, a lot of these parts don't like coming loose. My truck's got 350,000 miles. So yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot of corrosion and crap build up to get off. So that's what we're gonna work on today. I'm gonna try pulling these hubs, get the spindle off so that way we can get to the ball joints and then also I gotta look at those power steering lines because something is leaking, something nasty. So we're gonna go ahead and get those fixed, but first let me show you what it's doing to the tires. So you can see here, it's kind of an uneven wear. You've got like some spots where it seems like it's still got some life in it, and then you got other spots where it just seems like it's dead. So it's, it's wearing only to like certain spots, and it's really weird, like see that? That's kind of odd how that's doing that. And I also discovered, I also discovered there's a plug in my tire, so that's not good. So first things first, let's get started on pulling those hubs. So I was just curious if you guys are interested in any of this truck material. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything on the truck, and I'm just kind of thinking about getting into it. There's a lot of projects I need to do to it, and I'm just kind of curious uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff or if you'd want to see more. So let me know down in the comments. So I need to go get a pickle fork. Uh, these ball joints are not breaking loose no matter what I do. I'm gonna get a pickle fork or something and we're just gonna try to wedge it in there and smack it out. So, time for a parts run. BMW to the rescue. Let's hit it. I can't tell you just how much I love this car. So guys, I just wanted to take this moment to go over the results from our recent poll of what we should name our rooster. And uh, we got one response and everybody liked uh, Francis so far. But I got an amazing comment, and they gave, and Rick, if you're watching this, those are some amazing names. It's between Cluck Norris, Colonel Sanders, Brewster, and Napoleon. Those are way better than the names I thought of. So, uh, yeah, click the poll. Let me know what you think. So I got to O'Reilly's, and the guy that's working there is talking my ear off. But evidently, he's got a 406 Chevy small block that he's got about 10 grand in that he's trying to sell for four. Um, but he didn't know exactly what was in it, so it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. But either way, I'm just glad to be driving the BMW. So let's get home. I got the pickle fork, and let's get this damn thing done. I want my truck back. Mission accomplished. All right, let's give this thing another whack. This was a total, complete nightmare. Holy shit. So I've been out here smacking at this thing for probably the past like three or four hours. My camera actually overheated, but uh, we got it out. Literally, it was pickle fork, sledgehammer, and freaking air chisel, you name it. I tried everything under the book. I froze it, I heated it, I did everything. Eventually it finally came, but this is like no joke. I'm probably only gonna get one thing done today. So. And then now comes the fun part, we gotta actually press these dang ball joints out, so... Wish us luck. Alright, let's see if this sucker comes off. Well, that's not particularly good. I don't think that moved one bit. Huh. It's gonna be a lot more work than I thought. And it most certainly was. Holy crap. It took me so long to get these ball joints out. Like, it, it was just ridiculous. I mean, I'm going to have pie pie arms by the end of the day. Oh, my God. I can't tell you how exhausting this is. But we finally got it. And look at that. There is, like, 
This should not be this loose. This is terrible. And look at this one. It doesn't have like any, like it's just, I shouldn't be able to do that with a ball joint. It's crazy. So now I just gotta finish this up. I'm only getting one side done today. There's no way I'm doing two. Uh, this is not easy. So everything kind of went back together a lot smoother than it came apart. I mean, the ball joints went in. I had to use the C-clamp tool, but it was way easier than taking them out. Like, hands down, I would rather install them than remove them. That It was just a nightmare. It's days like today that remind me how whenever we go to work on cars, it's like, oh, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and then you get started, and the next thing you know, you're only doing one thing. And, and that one thing takes all day. It's just weird how with cars, that's how it seems to go. It never quite goes the way that you want it to, but even just making a little bit of progress is better than not making any at all, which is kind of how I felt about the truck for the longest time. So I'm just glad to actually be getting something done. Guys, I gotta tell you, that was insane. Like, I don't want to even mess with the other one. Like, these ball joints, I mean, ridiculous. I mean, yeah, like, all I wanted to do was fix that stupid leak that I had, and I couldn't even do that. Like, literally, like, I spent all day to replace two ball joints. That is nuts. The heavy duty crap with having a big truck, I can see why they call it heavy duty because it is, it is something else when it comes to getting that stuff out of there. I mean, it just, man, I'll just be happy when it's done because I, I, I honestly don't even know if I'm gonna tackle the other side. My back right now is killing me. I was having trouble just trying to like bend over and pick up the brakes and trying to flip that stuff around like, it was a total nightmare, guys, and gals, and whoever else. Just damn. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get me some food because technically I need to go to the gym, but uh, that was one hell of a workout all on its own, so I don't know, we'll see. But either way, I need to at least get something to eat and get this done, but I don't know, man. Sometimes you just have days like this where you just you push and push and you just you can't get anywhere but you know what we didn't give up we did not give up we kept hammering through that shit and we got it out of there so that's at least something you know but uh hope this video wasn't too terribly ow i got something in my eye downside of having contacts i guess yeah i think next time i'll have to wear safety goggles since i'm not wearing glasses Anyway, I need to get out of here. I'll see y'all later. Just keep it nice and easy, alright?